This video is going to show you how to divide polynomials using long division without a remainder, but with a placeholder. So let's take a look at this example. I have x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 divided by x squared plus 1. Now, if you notice, in the denominator, I'm missing a 0x, or any x term for that matter. So I'm going to use a 0x as what we call a placeholder. My numerator is OK. I have all of the terms. I start with an x to the fourth. It then goes to x to the third, x to the second, x to the first, and no x's. But in my denominator, I need that 0x as my placeholder. So now we can set up our long division. x squared plus 0x plus 1 goes on the outside. x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 goes on the inside. So I have three pieces on the outside, which means my first spot to start is going to be right here. I'm going to have an x squared term. So what times x squared gives me x to the fourth? x to the second. As soon as you get that top piece, you're going to multiply. So x to the second times x to the second gives me x to the fourth. x to the second times 0x is 0x to the third. Remember, anything times 0 is always going to be 0, regardless of what the x's are next to it or what any variable next to it is. Anything to the 0, anything times 0 is always 0. x squared times 1 gives me x squared. So now remember, you are going to subtract the whole thing. So x to the 4th minus x to the 4th cancels. That's our, always our goal. We want those first terms to cancel. So I have 4x cubed minus 0x cubed, so I have 4x cubed, and I have 3x squared minus x squared because I'm subtracting, so I get 2x squared, and now I can bring down that plus 4x. So now what times x squared gives me 4x to the third? I'm going to get 4x. As soon as you get a top piece, you're going to multiply. 4x times x squared, 4x to the third, 4x times 0x is 0x squared, and 4x times 1 is 4x. So now I am going to subtract the whole thing. So I'm going to put my minus sign and my parentheses so I don't forget. 4x cubed minus 4x cubed cancels. 2x squared minus 0x squared is 2x squared. 4x minus 4x is 0x. And then I'm going to bring down this plus 2. So now I want to find out what times x squared gives me 2x squared. So I have a plus 2. As soon as you get a top piece, multiply. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 0. Anything times 0 is always 0. And 2 times 1 is 2. Now we subtract. So 2x squared minus 2x squared cancels. 0x minus 0x is 0. And 2 minus 2 is 0, which means the whole thing is 0 down here. So I have no remainder, as I said at the beginning of this video. So my answer, or my quotient, is x squared plus 4x plus 2. Remember, there are other videos posted if you want to learn how to divide with remainders or how to divide using the tabular method. Be sure to check those out.